here, cousin Hank, reporting for you. You don't recognize me because I have to get a haircut first. So yeah, we're waiting for uh, for my barber. He's busy, and uh, I need my hair, and my nails done. Look, I spent all my money. <laughs> I spent all my money just in time before I lost my bank card. Yes, cousin Hank is a little bit stupid. Cousin Hank lost his bank card in the ATM. And it was an ATM uh, down the road. It's not a highway. This is not a highway too. This is Leutor Road Lane 3A. Here, here at the corner, uh, over there, you will go to uh, I'm sitting at my uh, barber shop, waiting for my haircut and my my manicure, pedicure, because uh, I'm a sensible guy. I'm uh, cousin Hank reporting for you. Jacques, uh, he has some problems with his neck. I lost my bank card in the ATM. It's stupid, and I admit I am stupid. It's part of the procedure eh, when you use the ATM in Thailand. First, okay, you make your choice. You make your choice. Uh, you choose uh, English because you cannot read Thai. You make your choice. Uh, you put in your uh, your pin code first. You put in your pin code. You call it pin code in the, in, the, in Sweden and. Um, yeah, you make your choice, you get the money. But first, the money comes out. Then the slip comes out. Where's the camera? The paper slip, if you choose to have the paper slip, the slip. And at last, your bank card comes out. Ah, I'm gonna cut my hair first. See you. So different, different than in other places. Uh, in the Netherlands, in Sweden, uh, most of the times, first your <laughs> first your uh, your bank card comes out, and then your money. But in Thailand, first your money comes out, and then your bank card. Now, like I said, I already spent all my money, so that's not a thing. Uh, but you uh, you want to block you want to block your bank card if it happens like that. So you call with the bank and then you notice people working at the bank. What are you looking at? Yeah, Loiko Road Lane 3, they are fixing the drainage system. Yeah, flip the camera. Look! I flip the sideburns. <laughs> the people at the bank, they don't speak that well uh, English. No. People... Uh, People in the hospital, doctors in the hospital, they speak English, doctors all speak English, people at the bank, working at the bank, they pretend to speak English, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, but we have uh, we have PIM, eh? we don't need an agent, otherwise you, you should, could, you could use, you could use an assistant, yes, you could use an assistant because those things, uh, if, it's, if it's involving with the Thai language, it, now I have Pim and I, uh, Pim can ask, uh, Pim can talk, but otherwise making the call in English to the bank, it's not easy. It's not easy when you have some issues in Thailand. Uh, in a tourist area, yeah, you can communicate with your, with your uh, barber uh, that you want to keep the sideburns but uh, a, a real serious conversation about uh, the situation in the world no that's not possible even in touristic places even in touristic places and and talking at people at the bank is not easy as well because they pretend to talk English but they have a limited uh, vocabulary yeah, so okay we talk to the bank and what the bank does is uh, suspend the card. That's the only thing they do. And you have to go back to your branch or possibly another branch, but uh, depending on your passport. Now I had another passport, it 
because it's already years ago I made the account. Making the account, it was not easy because I made the account as a tourist. Yeah, that's hardly, uh, that's, oof, it's difficult. Because you need an address. Now I wasn't a tourist, I, I was married. I am married. Yes, cousin Hank is married too. Married for years already and then you can have a, a yellow book. Some people say, well, yeah, what's the use of a yellow book? Uh, yeah, the yellow book is confirming your address. Yellow book is confirming your address. You don't have to go to immigration to get a, a address, a residency certificate. Residency certificate, how they call it. You don't need it if you have the yellow book because that's your uh, address. You could also have a pink ID card. And that's what we will do uh, at the end of the year because I, I said that's what I said. I don't need it. I don't need the yellow. I, I have a yellow book. I don't need a pink ID card. But it's the use of a pink ID card getting a, a discount, getting discount, and not be dual priced. No, no, no. I don't care. I don't mind. But <laughs> at the at the, the office, the, the last time they said, no, he has to have it. <laughs> he has to have it. I'm not sure, but okay. The yellow house book, that was convenient going to the bank. That was confirming my address and still I had to see different branches to get a bank account. not easy to get a bank account uh, as a tourist, as a resident. Yes, you can have your Thai bank account. But also, if you are a tourist and you use your uh, your your own bank account, right. you could. Ah, somebody's gonna do my nails. Yes, someone's gonna do my nails. Yes, wait for it. Yes, the manicure, pedicure is the best relaxation here eh, after the full body massage because, uh, especially with the manicure, you don't have time to play with your phone and uh, different than the massage. The massage lasts for an hour and then, yeah, okay, then it's gone. But this lasts for uh, a few weeks. Look, beautiful, yes. So there will be a part two in this here uh, when I have to renew uh, the bank card. Need my passport, need uh, the bank book. Wait for it, probably next week, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Mind the background music. See you later.